Hi and welcome to the video where I'm going to tell you how you can help your friends in relationships but help them in a way that's mature and yeah the right way which I didn't do for a long time. Um, I've learned a lot from being the middleman in a lot of other people's relationships including my parents and so I thought I'd make this video with a few quick simple points of how you can help your friends but in a kind of objective, setback, appropriate way rather than an invasive and sort of overboard manner which I used to do. So my first piece of advice is do not be a middleman messenger. Now what I mean by middleman messenger is for example my friend would say to me oh um, I've had an argument with my boyfriend he said this so I think this would you be able to speak to him and so I would call him up and say listen this is what my friend thinks and eventually you know at first people think it's really helpful but then eventually if anything ever goes wrong then it kind of comes back to you even unfairly and so I realized that although you should be able to listen to both sides and kind of try and help in that way don't be the one who's calling someone else's boyfriend up um, or girlfriend that is or passing on messages because those two people who are in the relationship should be the ones talking to each other it shouldn't really involve you and let's be honest you're probably not a counsellor and so it's just not good for your own mental health and for your friendship as well. My second recommendation is if you have any negative opinions of your best friend's partner then don't voice them it's irrelevant and if you keep voicing what you think in a negative way about that person that they're in love with then chances are that they're just going to ditch you and so if you want to continue that friendship and continue being a good friend and supportive and there for that friend then don't say anything about their partner unless of course it involves violence in which case yeah that's when you should say look I think he's being abusive I think he's being physically or mentally abusive I don't think it's good for you but if it's not to that extreme then don't really voice your opinion unless it's something nice. Which leads me to my third recommendation, which is don't silently judge someone else's partner. I've done this plenty of times. My sister would say, oh, okay, this is my boyfriend. And I would think, hmm, he didn't say this. He suggested this, so I'm not happy about that. He didn't do that for you, so I'm not happy with him. Therefore, I think that he's not good enough for you, etc. Again, voicing an opinion, but also judging him inside. And the way that you judge someone kind of does manifest in the future and it can drive a wedge between your friend or your sister or whoever and so don't judge them inside you don't know anything about their relationship the only people that know about a relationship is the two people in it and so get out of that bubble and just be nice and be open-minded and try and like them even if you might not another piece of advice is to remember that everyone's on their own journey and so you can't inflict your own lessons on someone else that person, that friend is probably not going to listen to you. We all have that one friend who keeps going back to somebody and you just think, oh my god, I've told you plenty of times he's not good enough for you, but they don't listen and they're not going to listen because they're on their own journey, they're learning their own things. So have patience. Remember that you probably didn't do things that your mom recommended to you when you were younger, which is what I always think about. And so yeah, respect that they're on their own journey. I never say to a friend, this is what I think, you should break up with that person or whatever, because I know that even if I recommended that in their best interests, they wouldn't listen to me. And so I just say, look, I'm happy for you to do whatever you want to do. And that's as far as I get, really. My final piece of advice is, when your friend is talking to you about an argument that they've had with their partner, try and stick up for the other person that they're talking about. So if my friend's like, oh, my boyfriend said this and I'm really unhappy with him, I'll just say, look, you know, he probably didn't mean that. He probably meant this. Um, he always wants the best for you. And I just do that because I want their relationship to be, you know, the best relationship it can be. I want them to make up. But also, I don't want to be the kind of friend who sat there being like oh my god what a dick that is awful because your judgment on that person will be remembered by your friend and then when them two make up the next day you're the one who looks like an idiot so I just try and stick up for the other person think about their point of view while calming down my friend and then try and let them solve it together because that's the best way that I've seen so far 
Likewise, if you're the person in a relationship, remember not to ask your friends to step in and pass on messages for you, or don't ask your friends for an opinion if you don't really want to hear it, and be ready to hear an opinion that you might not like. Uh, I think it works both ways. It is really hard to, um, you know, be a good friend when you don't really agree with the person that they're seeing and it can drive a wedge in your friendship. This It's happened to me a few times where I've thought, mm, I don't know if that person's good for you and I've voiced that opinion but it hasn't gone down well. But at the end of the day, I still really care about my friends and want to maintain a good friendship with them and so I've learned that keeping my mouth shut about other people's relationships is the right thing to do. I am their friend, not their counsellor or middleman. And so maintaining that good boundary whilst caring for your friend and still being a listening ear, that all mounts up to what becomes a good friendship. So I hope that those small pieces of advice will help you next time that you struggle in terms of when your friend talks to you about arguments that she's had with her boyfriend or whatever. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.